chaotic awkwardness. I promise you it's not getting better than this. I keep telling you it is. It's a lie. I'm a horrible liar. It's okay. My name is Whitney. I am a mess of a human. Welcome to Smoking Glue Guns. I make a bunch of random stuff. Sometimes it's dice or soap or coasters or whatever. But I thought it might be cool to show you guys in depth on how I make some of my stuff. So that's what we're gonna do here. But today, specifically, I'm sure much like many of you, I have been mildly obsessed with the new Disney movie, Encanto. I went down a rabbit hole where I resisted watching the movie because I'm the kind of person who doesn't really like watching the trending thing. So instead, I put it off for a while and then I watched it and became immediately obsessed. It, words are hard. Immediately obsessed and decided I was gonna make some soaps inspired by it. I am making three soaps inspired by Encanto. If you follow me over on TikTok, you'll actually be able to see almost all of them by the time this video gets posted. I wanted to take you guys in depth into the process of how I made my soap, specifically this one, which is inspired by Bruno Madrigal. By the way, I just wanted to take a second and say that a portion of the proceeds of this soap sale is going to be going to cancer research. The reason why is recently I lost my best friend due to cancer. One of the last conversations we had was him basically telling me that I should make a series of soaps inspired by the Madrigal family and Encanto. He really loved the movie and he made me fall in love with the movie. Since this design was directly pushed forward because of him, I would like to raise a little bit of money for cancer in his honor. If you consider buying a bar of soap from me, specifically the Bruno Madrigal bar, I wanted to let you know that that's where that's going to be going. So I start by using a five oil blend of olive, coconut, palm, sweet almond, and castor oil. It's actually a recipe that was popularized and published publicly by Katie Carson of Royalty Soaps. That's actually how I learned how to make soap was following her soap tutorial over on her channel, which you should definitely check out. But we start by adding our lye water solution. The lye is actually what makes the chemical reaction happen that makes soap soap. It doesn't take long to get it to a solid consistency because I make soap in smaller batches. I usually add a little oil to uh, the colorant because when you're mixing the colorant in, sometimes it's a little hard to get it all out of the cup when it's in powder form. We're starting with, that is the wrong color. I definitely meant to add a clip starting with the bottom green layer. I am a mess of a human. Since it's pretty much the same process, Editor Josh, can you add a clip, just like super sped up, of me adding the green soap to the mold? I used a color called Lounge Lizard from Mad Micah's, and it's just a pretty color when it's wet, so I wanted to show it to you real quick. The brown that we're using today is actually called Poppycock. Once the color is all mixed up, the next thing I have to do is pour it into the molds. And in order to do this without disturbing the bottom layer, even though it's mostly solidified by this point, I wanna make sure that I'm using a spatula to break the fall. So it's a little gentler and you'll see it naturally just slides on top of that layer. And since I'm doing two loaves at the same time, what I wanna do is pour part way up and then fill the other mold to make sure that I can keep them as even as humanly possible. Because I want you guys all to have perfectly even bars of soap. This is why I don't do layered soaps all that often because it is very tedious. It requires a thing that I am not good at and that is patience. Now, as you can see off camera, I tested to make sure that the soap was firm enough to put these in. Now, these pieces are really cool and kind of amusing. When I posted the soap to TikTok, they all universally agreed that apparently the green pieces look like the aggro crag. And you know what? In hindsight, they kind of do. Do you have it? But they're not meant to be the aggro crag. It's supposed to invoke the prophecy from the movie. And I think it works. And you can totally see there, I, I dropped I dropped one over, but it's okay. Since the top of this is meant to invoke like the sand in Bruno's room, it's not a big deal if the surface isn't completely smooth. And then we just keep going. And since again, I probably should have waited like an extra 10 minutes before I started putting these pieces in, I just have to babysit it a little bit and make sure that the prophecy pieces don't fall over. So the last thing I need to do before, <laughs> excuse my phone. Mess of a human. So the last thing I need to do before these soaps can set aside and finish their processing is I want to dust the top of them with just a little bit of sparkle. Bruno is magical and I feel like that should be acknowledged. I am sparkling the top of these with my personal favorite biodegradable hollow glitter from Mad Micah's. It's called Into the Mystic. It's so pretty and so sparkly and we love it a lot. So yeah, we have to wait 18 to 24 hours and then we will be back to slice the prophecy. And we're back to cut it. Slicing is honestly my favorite part because until now, I don't know whether or not I actually managed to accomplish what I meant to on the inside, but I'll be quiet so we can all hear the satisfying twang of the soap cutter hitting the bottom. Now I only have an eight bar cutter, so I cut eight bars and then I'll come back and I'll cut the last two. But look at that 
crisp, clean line. That's what we're looking for. Now, the last thing we have to do to really bring this soap home is stamp it. I'm using a stamp that I got from an Etsy seller that I will leave a link down below too, but I drew it out in Procreate first. And then you just gently press the acrylic stamp into some mica. I used Wicked by Mad Micas and then press it into the bar of soap when it's still a little soft. That way it leaves the impression of the rats along his back. Before the final reveal, I would like to announce my glue stick of the week. It's a thing that I think would be fun to do. I wanna shout out some of you incredibly talented people. And this week I am shouting out Pink Lotus Soapery over on TikTok, whose work is chef's kiss, fabulous, fantastic. Literally my like weak spot in my soap making game is frosted soaps. And that is a thing that she does not struggle with. Her work is absolutely stunning, specifically this super awesome pineapple soap that like I absolutely adore. And then she makes another one that's made with a Bath and Body Works duplication scent for like strawberry pound cake. And it's like my favorite scent on this planet. So go and give her a follow and check her out. And now, ta-da, it's Bruno soap. It's all done. This one is super awesome and I love it. It's probably my favorite favorite of the three that I've designed purely because it stayed the closest to the concept sketch. It's cool to be able to plan it and then be like concept finished product. Well, bam, it looks good. If I were to do it again, I'd maybe adjust some of the aggro crag so it looked less aggro craggy. No, I think I'd keep it because it's just, it's quirky and funny and I like it. But fun facts, the enchantment collection as I'm calling it, because you know, I don't have money to fight the mouse on copyright. The Bruno soap along with the Mirabelle and Isabel soaps will all be available in the next store drop this Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I don't know why I did that, but that's fine. It's 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. There'll be new soaps on the shop. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. For more chaotic awkward weirdness, I promise you it's not getting better than this. I keep telling you it is. It's a lie. I'm a horrible liar. It's Okay, I plan on uploading every Tuesday, so click that bell icon to be notified of future uploads. If you would like to support more videos like this one, check out my Patreon, specifically if you're interested in getting your own bar of soap sent to your house every month, there's a soap club down there where you can sign up for that tier and get that as a thing. Thank you to all my current patrons for being amazing. I love you all. And uh, that's all for now. I will see you guys in the next one. See you later, glue sticks.